in this episode of Tesla Cam Stories. Yes, sir. Reading you loud and clear. Clear, clear, clear. The clock has started. The clock has started. Tesla Cam, I hope you're satisfied. What you're about to hear is a tale of bad luck. No, really bad luck. Al had three Teslas and a Fisker Karma all totaled within the span of two months. Buckle your seatbelts, everyone. We're going to start from the beginning. The story starts with Al's 2016 Model X. It didn't have the Tesla Cam feature, so we only have these pictures that were taken in the salvage yard. In that accident, the other driver ran a red light, T-boning Al hard enough to sever the front left axle. That sent the Tesla sideways over a curb before bouncing off both a concrete lamppost and a tree, finally coming to rest in the parking lot of a bank 40 feet away. All 14 airbags deployed. The first responders were amazed that Al was standing beside the car when they arrived. After four months of physical therapy and treatments for whiplash, Al was okay. He finally took delivery of his replacement Tesla, a 2019 Model X performance. Unfortunately, the new Model X only lasted four days before it was totaled in the accident we're about to watch. Al was driving in Lawrenceville, Georgia when he slowed down for traffic that was stopping at a red light up ahead. The driver of the Ford Focus behind him didn't see the traffic slowing down. The other driver tried to change lanes, but collided with Al's right rear bumper and tire. The driver barely managed to keep his Ford Focus upright. In the Model X, Al says he only felt a small bump. Unfortunately, what he thought was merely superficial damage ended up requiring the replacement of the entire rear subframe, motor, axles, rear air handler, and, of course, the rear bumper cover. The ricochet from the impact also cracked the side chassis frame. Collectively, the damage estimate was more than 50,000 US dollars, and Al's insurance company decided the vehicle was totaled. Two weeks later, while awaiting delivery of his third Model X, he was driving his pristine 2012 Fisker Karma in downtown Atlanta. The driver of a rental SUV was on his cell phone and rear-ended Al, totaling the Fisker. He then ordered a Model S as a replacement for the Fisker Karma, but the car hauler transporting it from Montgomery to Atlanta wrecked. He ordered yet another Model S and took delivery on Friday the 13th. After all, what did he have to lose? We're sure Al is now a legend at his local Tesla sales service and delivery center. This Model 3 owner was stopped at a red light in Kennesaw, Georgia when a Dodge Charger attempted to make a U-turn. In the process, he hit a white Toyota. Instead of hitting the brakes to stop, the driver of the Dodge accidentally pressed the gas pedal and continued driving, striking the Tesla on the driver's side. Police were contacted and the Tesla cam footage was used to prove that the driver of the Dodge Charger was at fault. Unfortunately, Tesla doesn't have any body shops in this part of the United States authorized to repair this level of damage. Even though there is a Tesla repair center right up the street from where the submitter lives, they had to go through a third party body repair shop. The submitter says they're a little concerned about the body shop's ability to diagnose whether or not the battery is damaged. They had only owned the Model 3 for a month when this happened. Their previous car was 20 years old and they'd never been in a wreck before. Karanda had just taken delivery of her new 2021 Model 3 on December 31st of 2020. On January 27th of 2021, it was a rainy day when she was driving down San Jose Boulevard in the Mandarin neighborhood of Jacksonville, Florida. She'd come to a complete stop in the left turn lane at a red light when BAM! A Nissan ran into the back of her Model 3. Karanda thinks they were doing something else besides driving because it didn't seem like they even tried to stop. Immediately, she got out in the pouring rain to check on the other driver and to inspect the damage. The other driver backed up and signaled that he was okay, so Karanda went back to her car. That's when the Nissan driver sped off. 
Karanda contacted the police and gave them the video footage. Due to the rain, it was hard to make out the full license plate number, so the police said they couldn't do anything about it. The Tesla's bumper and trunk had to be fully replaced. She filed a claim with her insurance company and is waiting to hear the final cost. She hopes that maybe someone will recognize the car and can help her out. If you do have any helpful information, shoot us an email and we'll pass it along to her. David was heading home in Easton, Pennsylvania during rush hour in his Model Y when he came over a hill to a stop sign. He noticed some cars stopped in the middle of the street up ahead. Slowly turning the corner, he noticed three small dogs running in different directions. His instincts told him to slow down since he thought he might have seen one of the dogs running down the hill toward him. Sure enough, one of the dogs came running down the street toward him. A Subaru in the opposite lane stopped to avoid running over the dog, and David instinctively opened his door in an attempt to stop it. The dog was too fast though, and David saw it was running quickly toward a bend in the road where cars often travel at high speeds. He had only seconds to make a decision. He decided to use his Tesla's instant torque to catch up to the scared dog so he could warn other drivers coming around the bend. The Tesla's acceleration allowed him to pass the dog and warn an oncoming driver by flashing his lights, honking the horn, and slightly pushing over the lane line. Thankfully, his actions resulted in the Jeep driver hitting their brakes and stopping just in time, startling the dog and stopping him in his tracks. The most bizarre part of this story might be the fact that the Jeep was apparently owned by the Umbrella Corporation. I guess now we understand why the dog was so scared. This next video is from Justin, who is a start technician at Tesla. As a technician in the start program, he will go through an extensive EV service training program designed to provide him with the skills necessary for a successful career servicing Tesla vehicles. In this video, we see him and his colleague driving a Model Y with full self-driving engaged. Watch what happened just as they left the express lane to head to work. A Toyota pickup truck merged into their lane without checking for traffic, causing Autopilot to swerve the Tesla to avoid being hit. Justin had a separate dash cam recording both in front of and inside the Tesla. Let's listen to what that sounded like and see how they reacted when this happened. He managed to save the spin thanks to the Tesla's low center of gravity and the factory tires that are rated for such a heavy car. Paul was driving his two-day-old Model Y in China when he witnessed something he thought he'd only see on the Wham Bam Tesla Cam channel. A Honda squeezed in front of him and what followed was a whole new dimension of Honda Bump. Hondas are now bumping into other Hondas. What a crazy world we're living in. Paul says that the bump was so minor, he just went around them. He had just moved to China, so he wasn't feeling quite ready to intervene in a Honda Bump investigation just yet. Cameron was driving north on Highway 101 in his Model Y when a pickup truck next to him went over a bump, causing an unsecured shed in the bed of the truck to rock before falling onto the highway, sending debris everywhere. Luckily, the drivers behind them managed to dodge the flying building. This submitter had parked his Model 3 in a parking garage in Los Angeles, California while visiting family. Once in his hotel room, he decided to open his Tesla app and activate Sentry Mode. Good thing, too. Sentry Mode was triggered twice that night. The first time was when this white car parked next to the Tesla. A guy got out of his car while eating food, peed right next to the Tesla, and senselessly littered before driving off. Finger looking good. Later that night, Sentry Mode started recording once again when a janitor came by and picked up the trash. When the submitter reviewed the footage later, he felt bad for the janitor having to pick up after the first guy. Mike was driving his Model 3 with autopilot engaged on the freeway in San Diego, California when, all of a sudden, a shovel came flying into his lane. He took over for autopilot and avoided the shovel. Mike would have loved to see if Autopilot could have avoided the shovel on its own, but he decided to take matters into his own hands rather than take the risk. 
Craig was driving his Model 3 in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. As he approached a traffic light turning red, he heard the sound of a roaring engine from behind him. It was a Mercedes trying to catch the yellow light. Instead, a Ford Ranger turned when the light turned yellow and the Mercedes plowed into him. Craig gave his business card to the driver of the pickup and left another card for the police, in case either of them wanted the Tesla cam footage. One night, Robbie was driving in his Model 3 in High Point, North Carolina. He'd just picked up some delicious Indian grub and was heading home. He was approaching a red light where most people make a right turn on red as we can see multiple cars doing. As in most states, North Carolina law allows right turns on red as long as you come to a complete stop before making the turn. Robbie saw a car coming and decided to stop as he didn't want to risk an accident. Ironically, this actually caused an accident when the Ford Mustang driver behind him rear-ended his Tesla. The Mustang driver's story was that his foot slipped off the clutch, but Robbie suspects that he was actually on his phone. He was only moving at about 10 miles per hour. He may have been anticipating that Robbie was going to make a right on red and he was planning to follow. Interestingly, we can see that he didn't even try to turn his vehicle to the right. What do you think he was thinking? Leave a comment below and let us know. Robbie filed an insurance claim, but he didn't call the police since he had video evidence. The total bill from his insurance company was just over 31,000 US dollars. The other driver was underinsured for the accident, so Robbie's insurance had to step in to make up the difference. The Mustang driver carried $25,000 US dollars in insurance coverage, which was meant to cover the damage to both vehicles. His repairs cost around $8,000 US dollars, so the total damage done was worth about $39,000 US dollars. Robbie's insurance company refused to pay for more than 30 days for a rental car. He sent us this screenshot of the insurance payouts. Robbie is a bit upset because, after having the top glass of his Tesla replaced, it now appears to have an orange tinge and ruined ruins the black and white color scheme he had before. Does anyone know why this happened? Roger was heading out for an early mountain bike trip in Rancho Santa Margarita, California. As he slowed down for a red light, he noticed a van who didn't appear to be slowing down. The van driver claimed that the Honda ran the red light, but the Tesla cam footage disagrees. Roger remained until emergency vehicles arrived and he gave both them and the driver of the Honda a copy of the video. This clip comes from Mason, who drives a Volvo, but he caught this little incident involving a Model Y and a Honda on his aftermarket dash cam. First, we have to mention Mason's epic call-out phrase he uses whenever he spots a Tesla. We can see this becoming a trend. After shouting wham bam Tesla cam, he watched the Model Y and a Honda Accord trying to merge into the middle lane at the same time. At first, neither driver saw the other. Fortunately, an accident was avoided. Maybe autopilot full self-driving beta was engaged. We've heard rumors that the beta is programmed to be especially careful around Hondas. This clip submitter was driving his Model 3 in San Jose, California. As he was about to make a right turn, the traffic light turned red, so he stopped before completing the right turn. The Ford behind him hadn't planned to stop for the red light and rear-ended the Tesla while he was checking for cross-traffic. There just so happened to be a police car already at the intersection, but the Ford driver lucked out when it turned out that the officer was from a different jurisdiction, and he declined to write him a ticket. The driver of the Ford never filed an insurance claim, so his insurance company refused to cover the repair costs until they saw the Tesla cam footage. The submitter sent in photos of the damage using the Tesla app, and Tesla ordered replacement parts right away. The Tesla app allows someone to get a damage estimate by sending in photos, but if the damage is any more severe than a minor fender bender, you should take your car in for an inspection just in case. The trunk assembly took three weeks to arrive, but when he finally took the car into the service center, they told him that there was also damage to the car's frame, which meant the car had to be sent to a body shop instead. Leon was driving his Model 3 in Abbotsford, British Columbia, Canada. That's when he found himself behind a truck driver who didn't want to make room for people trying to merge onto the highway. He decided to follow him to see if he could catch his aggressive driving on Tesla cam. Sure enough, at the next on-ramp, the truck driver showed no signs of slowing down and almost pushed a Jeep off the road. 
Is the truck driver in the wrong here? Leave a comment and let us know what you think. Justin was driving to work in his Model S northbound on the A1, a major road north of London, England. A van had been tailgating him for a while, and once they got on the A1, Justin used all the Tesla's power to get away from the van. Needless to say, he left him in the dust. The speed limit on the A1 is 50 miles per hour at this point, and he engaged autopilot once he was at speed. The van caught up and overtook him, going about 70 miles per hour. Unfortunately for the van driver, he chose to pull that move right at the location of a rear-facing speed enforcement camera. This next video is also from Justin, in which a Range Rover rolled into the back of his Model S. There is a funny side to the story, though. The man driving the Range Rover was delivering a recently repaired car from a body shop back to its owner. There was damage done to both cars. A slight dent in the tailgate and bumper cover on Justin's Model S, and a big dent in the Range Rover's front bumper cover. The repair shop the other guy worked for had just become a Tesla authorized body shop, and Justin ended up being their first Tesla repair customer. I suppose if you're going to get run into by someone, it may as well be a driver from a Tesla authorized authorized body shop. Evidently, the guy driving the Range Rover ended up being the laughing stock of the repair shop. There was a smile on every face when Justin arrived with his car. Oh, and they also had to re-repair the Range Rover. Michael and his wife Jenny were driving home in Vienna, Austria. Jenny was driving so Michael could watch a soccer game on his phone. Watch what happened when they were just two minutes from home. A deer suddenly approached from the right. Thanks to Jenny's quick reflexes, it ended up being a near miss and not a collision. Jenny, you're this week's real MVP. Craig and his wife were driving home in their Model 3 on autopilot in Burlington, Washington when they passed two cars that were going a little below the speed limit. As they passed the first car, the white Honda decided to move into the passing lane even though there were no cars for them to pass. Craig and his wife were both confused and he instinctively took over from autopilot. The Honda didn't speed up, instead matching speed with the car next to them so Craig was unable to pass safely. Craig isn't an aggressive driver, so he just kept going, hoping the Honda would eventually move over. Eventually, he started to suspect that this was either a Tesla hater or an EV hater, messing with him on purpose. This made Craig pretty uncomfortable. After all, he just wanted to pass him and continue on. Finally, enough space opened up that Craig felt comfortable passing the Honda. He thought the Honda driver might try to block him, so he gunned it to get around him. From the footage, it looks like his fears were justified. The Honda seems to drift close to the line as Craig passes him, accelerating at the same time. After Craig passed, the Honda immediately pulled in behind them, flashing his lights. This confirmed that the Honda driver was definitely messing with them for some unknown reason. Choosing to be the mature ones in the situation, Craig and his wife just continued on. Several minutes later, the same driver passed them, pulled right in front of the Tesla and slammed on his brakes, forcing them to slow down to about 5 miles per hour below the speed limit. At this point, Craig and his wife were getting really unnerved being around this guy who seemed to have some problem with them for no good reason. Craig decided to pass him again and hopefully put some distance between them. As he was passing, the Honda driver let off his brakes and gunned his engine, trying to keep up or possibly get in front of them again. Craig was able to keep that from happening, and they didn't see him again after that. Honda bump avoided. Wham bam, thanks for watching, man. See you guys next Sunday. Oh Lord, won't you buy me a cyber truck? My friends all drive diesel, I must make a man.